So this is just a quick demonstration of a, uh, a script I've made to bring Figma documents into Unreal Engine as native UMG widgets. Uh, so Figma is a popular UI design tool. So you can see here, you can create frames, uh, you can basically draw vector graphics, um, create components. It's got this whole layering system here. Um, and it also provides uh, an API to uh, query this document, its structure, um, and to pull assets from it. So I basically use the Python scripting uh, for Unreal Engine to access the API and to, and to import uh, files from Figma. Um, one thing to note is that uh, the API requires uh, the requests module for Python. Um, so this isn't natively installed in the, uh, the Unreal uh, installation of Python. So you have to specifically go into the Unreal installation of Python and add uh, the requests module uh, for this to work. Uh, basically, I've um, got pretty much a blank project here, and then I've added the, uh, the plugin in here um, and then within there there's a uh, run import figma doc script here so i just open that visual studio code here uh, and then you can see that there's a few properties here so we've got the access token uh, if you're familiar with APIs and applications like this, you'll, you'll know about this, but it's basically a personal access token that you generate um, as part of your Fig Figma account, uh, and that's explained in the, the API documentation here. Um, there's the import directory, so that's the directory within your, your game project that you want to import, uh, uh, import the U assets to, um, and then the file ID uh, is basically the ID of your Figma documents, you can get that from the, the URL here. So if I copy that, paste that into there, and I'm just going to add my access token off screen. And then we can open the Unreal project. Uh, this is uh, an Unreal 5 uh, plugin. Uh, I don't think there's any reason it shouldn't work on earlier versions, but I've just built it from Unreal 5. Uh, so, let's tools, execute Python script, and then we can basically navigate to our uh, run import Figma doc here, and we can run it. And it should bring up this loading bar here. Okay, and once it's done, you should have a, a subfolder uh, in your in the directory you specified uh, with the, the same name as the, uh, the Figma document name. And then within there, you should have a, a top level canvas and then each of the uh, frames and components below that will have their own set of um, widgets and assets to go with them. Um, I think there's a, a bug with Unreal Engine um, since 4.27, I think, uh, whereby if you open this, you can see that all of these uh, reference widgets uh, are just blank. They, they haven't. They don't reflect uh, any of the updates that we've made to them. So if you just restart the editor, uh, and then we open that up again. You can see here now that this should reflect our document. And then 
so each of these is sort of modularized in the same way as the original project. So we've got we've got uh, our three top level frames, and then we can go in and edit one of those frames, and that's got frames associated with it. Um, these here are well, this is the top level component, and then we've got instances of that component. So you can see these are all referencing this frame four component. We can go in and edit these uh, and add uh, functionality to them. Uh, if we just turn the thing off on this one, so we've got the full canvas here. Um, and the idea of this is not to, you know, have a, a usable UI at the end of this. It's just to simplify the process of, of bringing in all those assets and, and laying out. Um, there'll be some tweaking and fine tuning you'll do in here, but you've basically got the, the skeleton structure you need um, in order for you to start to add your functionality. Uh, and that's about it.